dig reddits. Normally, I would be standing today in a room together with you, with more than a, a thousand of you, in fact, and together with your families and friends. We would all be wearing robes and we would have just paraded around Rotterdam. And probably we would have had to hand out more than a thousand umbrellas too, because the weather oftentimes isn't as nice as it is today. Of course, over the last two months, a lot of things have changed. What has happened has affected you and your studies. It's also affected your families and friends. And of course, the last few months here at RSM have been very different from how they were supposed to be. But one thing has not changed, and that is the value of your degree that you are graduating with today. You work incredibly hard during these circumstances, and it is wonderful to see what you have achieved during these last few months as you have faced those challenges. I know it's not been easy, but I also know that your families and your friends are incredibly proud of you. I hope that we will have the opportunity to celebrate at some point in person. I would really love that. But for now, let's think about what you have achieved and also what you're going to do next. All of you are going into the world now. You are going to take up new opportunities. You're going to have to make choices as well. The choices you make and the opportunities you seek are what makes you and are all of us a force of positive change in this world. And I'm really so grateful for your willingness to be part of this mission. So congratulations, you've done really well. We are proud of you. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you very, very soon. Hello, my name is Mark Bai. As the academic director of the Master of Science in Strategic Management of the Rotterdam School of Management, or RSM, it's an honor to be able to address you on this happy day. Years of studying are now behind you. You have attended countless lectures and tutorials, read countless scientific articles and textbooks, you have written countless essays, and as a final test of competence, you have independently carried out a scientific research project in the form of the master thesis. These are all formidable challenges, but you have done it all and successfully. You have earned the highest degree in strategic management. From today, you may officially call yourself Master of Science in Strategic Management. On behalf of the Strategic Management Faculty of the RSM, I would very much like to congratulate you on the academic degree you have obtained. What a memorable moment it is and what a great achievement. I would also like to address the family and friends present. For you, this day is also an important milestone. You must be very proud of what your daughter, son, brother or sister has accomplished. Please let me congratulate you with this great achievement of your loved one. The graduates have of course invested a lot of time and energy to successfully complete the study but they couldn't have done it without the support of family and friends. Today, 190 students graduate in strategic management at RSM. About half of the graduates come from the Netherlands, and the international graduates come from all over the world. This year, we welcomed students from no fewer than 22 countries. This means we had an internationally diverse group. We also see that the proportion of female students is approaching that of male students. 
male graduates still make up the majority, but 44% of graduates are women. It's a formidable achievement to earn a master's degree. We are proud of all graduates. But I would like to mention that 55 people graduated with distinction, or in Latin, cum laude. Moreover, it's impressive that three people of this group received the highest academic distinction, namely summa cum laude. What a talented group of students. Of course, I also want to say something about the corona pandemic. The academic year started as usual. During the first two teaching blocks, education in the lecture halls was still common. We took classroom education for granted. But in the spring, the corona fears hit hard worldwide. Education on campus was no longer allowed. Although the university already made use of video lectures before the pandemic, it was only very limited. Under pressure of the circumstances, the university had to accelerate the introduction of online education. Until then, many had not heard of the video conferencing software named Zoom. Now it seems impossible to imagine life without it. Obviously, this forced transition to distance education was a major challenge for all involved, students as well as faculty. It says a lot about your persistence and resilience that you have successfully completed your studies under these difficult circumstances. By choosing a master in strategic management, you have shown that you are ambitious. Strategic management is the most complex form of management. Strategic management integrates all business disciplines, such as finance, marketing and operations. It requires a so-called helicopter view. Strategic, strategic management also looks the furthest ahead of all disciplines. It's about the long-term direction of the organization. In practice, responsibility for strategic management rests with the top of the organization. Strategists sit in the boardroom or work for the blue chip consultancy firms that work for top management. Consultancy firms and internal strategy departments of multinational corporations are popular destinations for the graduates of the strategic management master. The program and the professors have given you a very solid foundation for a great career. You have acquired the latest academic knowledge of competitive strategy and corporate strategy. In addition, you have developed highly valuable thinking skills to analyze and understand the most complex strategic issues and develop original solutions for such issues. You are ready for the next step in your life. The future starts now. This graduation marks the end of your master's study and the start of your working life. But it should not be the end of your education. During your career, you should continue to learn lifelong. Lifelong education is a critical success factor in today's turbulent environment. Therefore, we hope that you as an alumnus keep in touch with the RSM. The RSM's mission is to be a force for good. We hope that this group of graduates will also continue to implement this philosophy. We wish you every success in your career and wish you all the best in your private life. And thank you for studying with us and enjoy this special day. Thank you. Over 50 years ago, a few bright minds planted the seeds to become a force for positive change in the world, developing thought leaders in business, research and education. It was a unique opportunity to join the first academic business school in the Netherlands. It was a life-changing experience and made my career. I'm grateful that I learned all the different aspects of business with my RSM degree. In the 1980s, 
we launched a full set of management programs at RSM. And that way we laid the foundations for a top business school in Europe. I'm very proud that since the 90s, RSM has become an international business school known for its excellence in research. Leadership of today is not driven by self-interest, but by a vision that gives us direction to the sustainable change we so badly need. Without shared values and a sense of community, it is impossible to overcome the current global challenges. We empower women to drive their careers and be agents of change in creating a more gender equal work environment. It's an honor to lead such an impactful business school. Going forward, it is going to be crucial to find the right balance between continuity and change in order to create new opportunities for the next 50 years. I will be the agent of positive change. I am ready for the future. Rotterdam School of Management. Erasmus University. 50 years of impact. Dear Dean, dear professors, Dear students and guests, I am very honored and thankful for the opportunity to give the student address. This year has been different and difficult in so many ways. Not only had we to overcome the personal obstacles, but also to face the consequences of the coronavirus pandemic. Yet we, students of the Strategic Management Masters, once again managed to finish studies and to successfully start the next chapters of our careers. This fact should be the reason for pride, but it also should remind us of an often forgotten building block of leadership and success. And by that, I mean persistence, the ability to continue doing what you believe in, no matter what consistency between your actions and your real priorities. Because when challenges come, as Winston Churchill said, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. The persistence can be easily misplaced with stubbornness. The last academic year, however, was a great lesson. Based on that, let's reflect on what does the persistence in leadership really mean. Firstly, it is having the realistic goals and sticking to your real priorities. You cannot get what you want without setting the objectives first. You need to really believe in what are you doing and be able to use this inner motivation to empower yourself and your teammates as well. Secondly, it is adaptability. Ability to change the previously chosen path to get past the obstacles on the way. Having the right goal does not mean that there is the one and only optimal way to achieve it. Thirdly, persistent means also continuous learning. Being humble enough to accept your failures and to learn from those who perform better. Keeping an open mind to hear new perspectives, share your knowledge and get a piece of others' wisdom. Fourthly, it is just the hard systematic work. There are many talented, smart leaders, but only those who work hard enough to
to can truly inspire others to continuously develop themselves and to reach the common goal. Finally, it is being able to support others and be supported over the course of the journey to the next goal, being self-aware enough to ask for help and to discuss the challenges with people you trust. And I believe that the strategic management master at RSM trained us very well to be persistent leaders, dealing with the great amount of tasks, assignments, presentations and exams, forced us to set the real goals and think about our priorities. Moreover, we needed to constantly adapt our ways of working to the different challenges coming with every course. And we had also to adapt again, finding ourselves uh, in the new reality with online learning. We were lucky enough to be able to learn from ourselves in class and I'm personally deeply thankful to all my classmates such as Elin and Noah and to all professors for everything I could learn from them. We worked hard and I'm sure that everyone is as thankful to their loving ones as I am to my parents Agnieszka and Tomasz as well as my girlfriend Agata for their continuous support. So to recap, I would like to thank all the people who were a part of this program the last year for teaching us how to be persistent leaders. We are prepared to help organizations achieve their goals, to shape the strategy and to lead the change. Therefore, I wish us all to keep our persistence up because as Barack Obama said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change we seek. It's us who need to be a force for positive change and only being persistent will bring us to the place where we want the world to be. And that is the final thought I would like to leave you with. Thank you very much. We wanted to create a place where you can go back in time and explore all the stories of the 50-year RSM history. A complete timeline that not only tells those stories, but also instills a sense of pride about the history and ignites inspiration for the future. After months of work by many, hunting and digging through the archive, puzzling all the pieces together, it's with great honor that I get to unveil and present to you the official 50-year historical timeline of Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University. The first part of our timeline is a story of many firsts. The first plans, the first school building, the first classroom, and of course, the first students. The first item on our timeline, and my favorite piece, is this one-page business plan. It was made by our founding fathers, and they compared four European business schools, and they used it to design the school and the curriculum. The beginning of our timeline contains a picture of our very first school building. And on this school building, of course, there was a building sign. This is the original building sign from 1970, and luckily, it survived the past 50 years. Another great discovery from the RSM archives are these three pictures. They were scattered amongst hundreds of pictures and after studying them for a while, we figured out that they fit together, creating a beautiful panorama of one of the first classrooms. If you look closely, you see uh, a blackboard with a process flow. Of course, you see 1970s students with long hair and their appropriate clothes. And at the very back of the classroom, in the window, you see two beer bottles. Let's just say things were a bit different in the 70s. This first part of our timeline is quite dynamic. Our newly formed school grows. We welcome more students. And after a while, it's the start of the MBA program, the PhD program. Uh, in 1977, SVIP is founded, which is currently called STAR. And we moved the school from Rotterdam to Delft. The 
The second part of our timeline is even more dynamic. After over 10 years, our school moves back from Delft to Rotterdam to the FG building in 1984. Here it becomes a proper academic faculty, part of the state-recognized Erasmus University. In this phase, it's all about further internationalization, development, expansion and academic recognition. In 1989, RSM is admitted into the prestigious Community of European Management Schools, SEMS, and the PIM Network, Programme in International Management. The exchange program of RSM starts to take shape in a tremendous way. Here on the timeline, we see a graduation ceremony taking place in the early years. In the mid-1980s, the new FG building allowed for a lot of space for a new computer lab. The importance of automation in the workplace was on the rise and the shape and size of computers changed over the years. RSM has always invested heavily in those facilities because of their importance for education. And nowadays, everybody just brings their own device. The early 90s marked the birth of the internet and our timeline describes how new ways of doing research and delivering education were developed. For instance, in the late 90s, as part of the Dr. Anders 2000 project, RSM started experimenting with delivering video lectures on CD-ROMs. Welcome by this college over leadership. Students were learned how to code in Delphi and other programming languages. And from 2000 onward, the faculty implemented digital case methods. For instance, this adventure game case, where learning, testing, grading and fraud detection all was done via advanced CD-ROMs and floppy disks. The last part of our timeline is all about further growth and integration. RSM becomes one brand name, unifying all research and programs under one label. We continue to climb the most important rankings. We welcome more students, we make more impressive publications, and our name continues to grow as a brand name in the market. In 2009, the I Will movement launches. Students, staff and faculty make a public commitment to their drive and ambitions, reflecting RSM spirit. By 2020, there are no more than 15,000 statements. In 2017, RSM embarks on a new strategic mission to become a force for positive change. By embracing the UN's Sustainable Development Goals, they try to implement a new way of measuring societal impact. And this concludes my brief overview of the RSM timeline. Come over to the Mandeville building and have a look yourself, or go over to the Bale building where we have an identical timeline set up. Or you can go to rsm.nl slash 50 to find more online resources, videos, and all the stories of the 50-year RSM history. Come and explore our shared history now. Amy Pella. Alessandra Di Donna. Alexandra Gegenfurtner. Alice Guliano. Anna Luisa Coy, cum laude. Andrea Zen, summa cum laude. Congratulations, class of 2020, for achieving such an important milestones, and thank you to my family and whoever supported me throughout this experience. Anna Calandra. Four years later, here we are. Cheers from Amsterdam. Anna Pal. Anna Sophie von Galen. Anselm Ome. Hey, this is Anselm. I just want to send a big thank you to everybody in strategic management who made this year so amazing, and I hope that we all see one another again very soon. Eva Hughes. Arnold Hoffmann. 
Art Trouwborst. Uh, yeah, congratulations uh, with graduating. And uh, yeah, we fixed it just like my uh, hangover this morning. And uh, greetings from a kind of quarantine situation here in Greece. Congratulations. Ari Willem van der Plas. Arkadius Kaminski, summa cum laude. Aryam Teki. Bart Swanswijk. Brad Canters. Casper Klosterhaus, cum laude. Carolina Turkanu. Katarina Simoas. Chira Fosiri. Koen van den Hoek. Dieter Nijmeijer, cum laude. Dion Hausmans. Eileen Bok, cum laude. Ellen Verzoete, cum laude. Emile Hofsted. Enzo van Westendorp. Dear mom, dad and little sister, thank you for your great support throughout the years and only good things to come. Femi van Dijk, cum laude. Ferran Amor P, cum laude. Fleur Jongma, cum laude. Floris Eiland. Floris Wirtz. Frisi Kjorki, cum laude. Furkan Alkelik. Gennaro Finelli. Guilherme Sianto Sierra. I'd like to thank everyone that has helped me on this journey towards graduating at RSM. Now is our time to act, so let's start driving positive change. Hang Lee. Hannah Lavendier, cum laude. Hannah Remdi, cum laude. Irene Pronk, cum laude. Jakomijn Belle. Jacqueline Janssen, cum laude. Jamie Halfman, cum laude. Jenna Kurth, cum laude. Jill Ober. Job Hackert. Jonas Backles, cum laude. Joost van Dam. Hi guys, congratulations everyone on graduating as a Master of Strategic Management. You did an amazing job. Enjoy your day. Julia Barth. Julius Caden. Camille Jargot. Katarina Maximovic. Katharina Lamparski, cum laude. Katja Simeon. Keiji Shen. Finally, I graduated. Thank you, my family.
always my friend and all for you. I love you all. Clara Ritter. Christina Venetis, cum laude. Laura Nunhoser, cum laude. Laszlo Demeter. Laura Negri, cum laude. Congratulations to everyone. It's been a really challenging year, but we made it. Thanks for the support to my family and friends. Now we can be a force for positive change. Laura Yaseline Peaton. Leah Wilke, cum laude. Ludwig Ter Bok, cum laude. Lisette Williams. Luisa Caravate. Lucas Omkens. Lucas Leewald. Martin Rensink. I'm very proud to be graduating from strategic management this year. I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, and especially my parents for all the support. I wish the class of 2020 the best of luck. Martin Schorl. Marie Tumuri, cum laude. Magda Michelle Moos. Mario Ambrosetia. Mario Pirelli. Mark Bender. Mark in het veld, cum laude. Mark van Kappel. Mark van Oort, cum laude. Matteo Barboni, cum laude. Maurits Knoop, cum laude. Maritzi Platzak, cum laude. Max Tonair. Meli Genikot. Meryl van Lunen. Mervian Snell. Michael van het Hof. Michael Stamenoff. Michelle Willerschek. Michiel Keizer. Mike Tembroek, cum laude. Misha Estella Jo, cum laude. Natalie Nolet. Natalie Schwarzkop. Nick Wolbert, cum laude. Niels Damhuis, cum laude. Nicoline Katarek. Four years later, here we are. Cheers from Amsterdam. Noah Schenevet, cum laude. Dear students, don't forget to always do a project in an agile, iterative way and watch the core competencies in digitalization. Thank you. Olaf Kortenhorst, cum laude. Pablitos Koziot. Paul 
Paul Schuster, Summa Cum Laude. Pim den Otter, Cum Laude. Pim Sierveld. Ressie Janssen. Robin Puntman, Cum Laude. Rohit Bansing. Rome Commander. Ron Metz. Roxana Vuff. Ryan van Wilde. Sander Wijnen. Semina Hotsik. Shreya Sumani. Sietske Brakman. Silva Camarotto. Sina Schiefer. Soterias Papa Soteriu, cum laude. Congratulations, class of 2020. Let's show the world what we're made of and prove to everyone that even in these circumstances, we can actually have a positive impact on the world. Stan van der Lan. Sven Tat. Sydney Straver, cum laude. Chai de Han. Teresa Gross, cum laude. Thomas Gearling. Tim Alkamada. Ting Huang. Tom Cranenberg. Victor von Leysen. Wanning Dong. Ward Gillis, cum laude. Willem Rubers, cum laude. Yasmai Riba. Naomi Alvarez Lopez. Hi, congrats class of 2020. I wish you all the best and a bright future. Thanks to my family, especially my mom and dad for their support. This would not have been possible without you. Congrats! Congratulations, your hard work's paid off and you are now no longer students, you are RSM alumni and we are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. I just wanted to let you know that you are now part of an alumni community that is global and community and networks are ever more important. So please stay in touch with us, stay in touch with each other and I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Congratulations to all of you. New doors are opening and are taking you to directions that you have never expected. And I'm sure you'll be able to overcome 
all the challenges that this year brought us. You've made it. I am hugely proud of you and I hope you can cherish this amazing moment. Welcome to this wonderful alumni network. You can set an example. It is your time now to make positive change happen. Thank you.